It's a cold Sunday morning in a parking lot in Egan. Thanks for coming, you guys. It's kind of an early morning. But you'd be hard pressed to find a warmer welcome. Hop on up, Max is waiting for you guys. Anywhere. Hey, Kyle, how's it going? Hey, Susan. How are you? Dozens of people from all walks of life drawn together on a single mission. All right, here's our adventure, you guys. They don't know we're coming. And so it's going to be a lot of fun. At the same time, two hours south of the Twin Cities, a small community dishes up breakfast for one of their own and has no idea what's headed their way. She's the cutest, happiest little baby in the world, and she's doing great. And action. Hi, guys. Matt and Gabby here. This is a benefit for one-year-old Gabby Brown, who is fighting a fierce battle with leukemia. We cry every day from just the love and abundance of support and care that our community has shown us. First benefit crashers right here! Back on the bus. Are you guys excited? The plot is thickening. So should we stay in front of the bus, you think? I think we should like be on the bus and then all of us get out. Laura Henriksen is the mastermind behind this group called the Benefit Crashers. The idea was born out of her own experience. Yeah, yes. When her niece was fighting cancer while the family was living overseas. When I felt so bad, they felt so alone out there. <laughs> and, uh, and I just thought to myself, I don't ever want my kids to feel alone or anyone else to feel that loneliness. Laura started small rounding up a couple of friends and family, finding benefits, and simply showing up. I wanted something my family and friends could all go to, you know, um, with money or with not money, just to be a part of something. One, two, three, Benefit Crashers! Less than a year later, it is a full-fledged movement. Their most recent crash drew dozens of people who connected on the group's Facebook page. They crashed this benefit for Sawyer Warner. Hello! Yes, we're here to crash your benefit. The eight-year-old who was thrown off a water slide last summer. He's recovering, but is facing a lifetime of care. We're overwhelmed by how many people are here and, and uh, how many people care about Sawyer. Sawyer's was their seventh benefit. They've also surprised a family of kids who recently lost both their parents in an accident. There was a superhero benefit for a little boy named Bradley and fundraisers for Teresa, Anthony, Tina, and Justin, all who are bravely fighting illness. Each of them now a part of the Crashers' extended family. And she will still ask, like, in her prayers at night, she'll be like, okay, so, you know, we have Justin, and we have Sawyer, and now we have Gabby um, to include in us because they've participated, yep. you know, with me um, in these benefits. In fact, the ripple effect from crashing has caught Laura by surprise. Now she watches it play out benefit after benefit. Take Justin's fundraiser. His brother-in-law, Joe, was so blown away when the crashers showed up. He's now talking about starting a group back home in Chicago. And he recently submitted this video requesting another crash to support and surprise his friend, Matt Brown. I hope that you guys are able to make it down and support Matt Brown and his family and Gabby. Uh, she's the one-year-old that um, needs our prayers, if anything. That, that would be something that you guys could send her way. Uh, but would, uh, you know, really, really, really mean a lot. And I think that the, uh, the exposure of the benefit crashers showing up in Harmony, Minnesota would be absolutely amazing. Which brings us back to today and a cold Sunday morning in a parking lot in Preston, Minnesota. One, two, three, give it up for Gabby! Woo! Here we go! The benefit crashers are ready to make an impact. Is that impact. him? Right there. Is right that there. him? Oh, yeah, right there. Yep, here he is. Oh, yeah. Yep, here he is. We are the benefit crashers. And we're coming from the Twin Cities, and your friend Joe, are you talking to him right now? Yeah, I'm good. Joe! <laughs> yeah, Joe! Yeah. So Joe has called us, our, he, he uh, videotaped said how important you were and what a good friend you were to him, and he just loves you, and he couldn't come. Here comes everybody. There's about 50-some people on this bus just for you guys from the Twin Cities. Go on in, yes. Lead the way, Matt. <laughs> and as the wave of big hearts in blue shirt So good to spread hope and love. Yes. You know? Comes crashing in. Thank you very much they wrap their arms around those in need and each other. My heart just goes out to people that are in pain and um, uh, nobody really knows that pain until they 
have to deal with it. And that is the beauty of the crash. It is not just for one person, one cause. It lifts everyone. Looking at the bus and all the people who came with their families and these babies they brought, woke up early in the morning, uh, it's amazing. It's amazing to have the following that we've had and the support that we have. I just, um, I'm overwhelmed by it, you know, and um, it's just, it's awesome. I am just thrilled. This is where it starts. It's just being a part of something small and taking care of each other. As the crashers head back home, they leave this little corner of the world a better place. A family feels supported, strangers made new connections, and a community draws closer. All because one woman had a dream that no one going through life's trials would go through it alone. It's really simple. Anyone can go. It's not, it's about being there for that person. We want to make it a movement, you know, make it a movement so everyone can do it, you know, because it's just changing the world and bringing kindness. Amy Hockard, Fox 9.